hi everyone uh, in this video we'll see how we can create an rds in aws portal so right now i'm in aws portal uh, click on rds here like choose rds service rds is a relation database service click on rds so it will open up a new service here like rds service on rds uh, you could uh, click on create database So you have different range of database you can create here. I'm going to choose standard create and different engine options we have here. Either you can use Amazon Aurora DB or MySQL or MariaDB or PostgreSQL, Oracle or Microsoft SQL Server. For this demo, I'm going to use Microsoft SQL Server. And then I'm going to choose the edition as a standard edition. And the version I'm going to keep the, the as it is. Templates I'm going to keep it as a dev or test settings i'm going to give a database name here this is some sql server some database name so i'm going to give database sql server so you can give the card uh, user id and password here just just for logging to this server so i'm just keeping as admin the password also i'm going to give some password here Once this is done, then click on DB instance class. So I'm going to use standard class here, and I'm going to use the uh, the large uh, DM DB dot DM five dot large. That's the one I'm going to use. You can pick the two. We can you can choose the uh, one which is listed here. I'm using the first one here. Uh, next, I'm going to keep the storage as general purpose storage, and I'm going to give 20 GB as my storage uh, storage capacity and storage auto scaling i don't need auto scaling for this demo just i'm click on disabling that one i don't need i'm just remaining i'm going to keep as it is i'm getting a vpc for this one new vpc and new subnet group probably i'm going to give this publicly access so that i can just uh, 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 we can access this database from outside so just uh, giving public access right now Choose everything as a default here. Everything you want to keep as default. But this zone. I'm going to give us no preference. Remain thing I'm going to keep as it is uh, the default one. I'm going to click on create databases. It's going to take some time. We'll come back once it is created. Now the, server, now the SQL Server is available. You could see the status is available here. Uh, if you go inside, here you can find the uh, endpoint and port. So this is the endpoint which we have to uh, use in the SSMS to see the database. I'm gonna copy this uh, endpoint as well as the port number is 1433. In case if you're not able to access the SQL Server from outside, what you can do is uh, go to connection security and there you can go to security groups rules as highlighted here and there you'll find the security group group, uh, uh, group rule name click on that and then there you have to enable the inbound and outbound rules i'll quickly show how we can do this in v through vpc so the vpc under security will find the security group uh, group name security security group currently i don't have group name here normally when you create database you'll have the group name uh, comes here you can click on that uh, right now i'm showing a security group here you can go to the inbound rules uh, here you can add this uh, custom rules here like for example here you have to use uh, uh, my ms sql then the port range is 1433 then you have to mention all the ip address uh, 0 .0 .0 .0 .0 0. when you select this one and save this one this will make uh, all the inbound ac uh, give access to the outbound in inbound records similarly for the outbound rules also you can say enable this one so that i mean everybody can if you want to access this uh, so i mean sql server from outside you can access this one so one thing is either you have to change this configuration in class public other one is on the security groups also you need to enable this uh, uh, inbound rules and outbound rules so that you can access from anywhere that's it for this video thanks for watching